loves, <laughs> welcome to this reading. This is going to be an energy reading for twin flames or divine counterparts, whatever you want to call that. And um, today we're going to take a look at both the energy of the masculine and feminine and see where you guys are at in your twin flame journey. Now, two things that Spirit has been showing me before I started this reading, and one is the void or that empty space for the divine feminine energy, and they're showing me dream catcher for the masculine energy. So I feel that the energies are now quite the opposite of each other so um, what I see for the divine feminine is that she is in that um, space of nothingness so nothing might be happening when it comes to um, the outside world or the inner world but actually uh, this is the stillness this is the time when everything is about to happen but things might seem really quiet or they might be that pause okay so I feel that she is right now in that empty space in order to um, create that space for uh, perhaps creation of something even be you know bigger than herself and this is something that um, perhaps it might be um, showing itself in the physical as um, feeling dizzy or feeling not very um, grounded feeling um, having a lot of um, physical symptoms like you know pain in the muscles or a lot of um, actually um, your ears might be ringing so I feel that um, for the divine feminine this is a time before the creation or be, we could say that uh, this is a time that something is about to be created between the masculine and feminine energies now remember that these energies are also something that we have it inside ourselves so you can look at it that way as well if you are not with your divine masculine in the physical right now now uh, what is happening with the divine masculine energy what i'm seeing is dream catcher as i was telling you guys because i see that uh, the divine masculine is really embracing his um, feminine energy or um, he's really embracing his intuition listening more to his intuition and paying attention to actually to his dreams and as you guys know dream catchers are um, native americans they they, they are um, you know they put it beside their bed in order to um, have the other person the, the person that is sleeping to protect them or not to allow any evil spirit to enter uh, the sleep time of that person so I feel that um, for the divine masculine there is a lot of connection with spirit that's happening especially in dream okay and also I feel that the energy of the masculine and feminine might be interacting a lot with each other in a dream world um, now remember that what I see here is that also these energies are coming down in the physical world and what is the union energy for the both of them is that I see that there is this seed okay so there is this seed of love which I feel like is going to be the creation something that um, both of them are um, had created and it's coming into the physical world okay now you know some people of course take a look at it as um uh, you know the divine masculine and feminine having that um, having a baby or actually having a physical baby but we are not talking about that we are talking about something else okay we are talking about um, some other sort of like creation between these two and we're going to see what they are okay now um, I'm going to also expand this on the membership side so join me if you are being guided to as well and let's just start this reading and see what is going on okay all right so um let me see guys all right uh i think i will i'm going to use these cards first and see what is happening okay all right let's see let's shuffle the cards and take a look at both of the energies okay sorry guys just a second okay all right Spirit, please show me what is happening here. Okay, let me just do it again, guys, because I was just not shuffling enough. All right. Spirit, please tell me what is happening for both energies. Okay. We have the tree of life. Okay. Uh, this is the energy of the masculine and feminine. Um, and uh, we also have the dream. Oh, my goodness, guys. This looks like a dream catcher to me. All right. So this is the masculine energy. And it has the falcon or the eagle here as well. So this is um, the masculine energy. And let's take a look at the feminine energy as well, too. Okay. We got quite some cards. We have the fertility. Okay. This is also beautiful. This is also really, really beautiful. Um and I feel that um, 
you know this is the energy of both i don't know why i'm seeing it as energy of both actually and we also have the whole human okay this is energy of the feminine and uh, we also have the power animal okay as energy of the feminine again all right now let's move the camera a little bit down and oh my goodness okay quite more cards came in we also have the ancestor and we have we also have the fountain of youth okay uh, we also have the vortex okay so the ancestors is on the feminine end feminine end and but the vortex or number 11 is the energy of the union as well all right and one more card for the masculine and we're going to start the reading okay all right let's see spirit please give me one more card we got it all right we also have the womb oh my goodness so uh this is on the masculine's end and i know that um you know you guys might be saying that why the masculine energy has a lot of feminine energy here but i, I will explain to you guys what is going on here okay so let's see what is happening just a second guys okay all right so let's take a look at the masculine energy because it's very interesting at this time now as i told you guys i feel that the masculine is really embracing that feminine energy and remember that the feminine energy ha is a, a lot of is that creative part of themselves that that part of themselves that wants to uh give that part of themselves that wants to create something um i feel that um what they are right now experiencing is something like as a healing from perhaps previous lifetimes um, for some of you guys of course i'm seeing a lot of past lives here um, especially as native americans i'm seeing greece or italy as well and um, also asia or south asia india all right and also africa south africa a lot of like these energies are coming now um, i feel that when it comes to the masculine energy first of all the masculine energy right now it's its ultimate power okay but the ultimate power is not about dominating it's about actually uh you know embracing that um vulnerable side of themselves like since a child comes out um from the womb of its mother you know of his or her mother you know it's there is a very uh, vulnerable vulnerable parts of themselves or vulnerable parts that comes to this world so i feel like it's almost like they are um you know the feminine energy or you know perhaps for some of you guys that you are watching this on this side if you are the feminine then i feel like you had opened this vulnerable side of themselves okay this is the masculine trials that i'm seeing in this um cards because what they are telling me is that the, the feminine has opened this uh, beautiful shell and inside of it there is the masculine sleeping and it's interesting because the child is also sleeping and i feel that um, perhaps the masculine hasn't been awakened uh, but the feminine is opening that uh, womb is opening that door uh, perhaps to the awakening for the divine masculine now this is a very very interesting time for him because as i said remember when a child comes in or enters Enter the life it becomes vulnerable already okay when you are in a spirit world you are safe and you are um, not that you are not um, completely safe when you enter this life but remember that 3d life is full of uh, threats I mean it's full of um, dangers it's full of ups and downs um, so I feel like you know he is right now seeing that vulnerable part of himself that maybe he couldn't opening it up to the feminine for a really long time because he also has been sleeping okay now um i also feel that um some of them they are having a lot of vivid dreams all right and it might you know it might not be exactly about the divine feminine but i feel like definitely they are um listening more and more to their intuition or to their higher self i feel like their higher self right now is quite active or um perhaps in the past um i feel like there has been a disconnection between uh, the higher self and perhaps um uh, perhaps the masculine you know himself okay the physical self or the emotional self all right now the other interesting thing that is also coming up is this child or this i feel like it also talks about like um awakening the inner child okay opening that um you know i feel like you know it's it's very interesting that the womb here it's being showed up by this um shell and it's like this child is like a pearl okay so i 
feel like this is the precious energy of the divine masculine um, kind of like becoming reborn again we could say that the masculine is being reborn again all right like also i feel like there is that um embracing vulnerable parts of themselves coming into this as well and if you see i mean it's a feminine of course that she is opening it up because the feminine is the one who gives birth okay so I feel like this is the energy of the masculine and also uh, the other interesting thing is that the fountain of youth okay and what it means is that I feel like the masculine has been searching for that kind of like a, uh, perhaps fountain of youth and why he has been searching for it is that I feel like he had some fear about death okay this masculine has had a fear about death a fear of also uh, getting old or feeling like um, maybe they are not uh, maybe they are getting old and they haven't been um, reaching their potential okay so I feel like something that uh, perhaps they have they have always been looking for is sort of like awakened by the divine feminine at this time uh, the masculine has reached something that we might want to call it the fountain of youth and what exactly is that is um, getting in touch with their true emotions with their true feelings and I and I see that um, by doing that they're going to be feeling much younger they're going to feel like they are not uh, degrading they're going to feel that um, perhaps this life is not the only one this body is not the only lifetime that they had okay so i feel that definitely there is that kind of a you know awakening to um spirit is happening and with the eagle i feel like you know they are getting a lot of visions in their dreams it could also be that they have some dreams about the divine feminine um i see that for some of you guys that you are watching and this is not for all of you guys it could be that um perhaps the relationship between you two could have been between the mother and um, a, a, you know a child so perhaps you know in the previous lifetime some of you guys could have played that role or uh, maybe for some of you guys you had a child with this person in the previous lifetime as, as well I mean there is a lot of emphasis um, in the energy of Native Americans so um i feel like perhaps for some of you guys you strongly had a past life there but also there are other uh, places that they are emphasizing for instance i'm seeing greece italy or some parts of europe all right that they are showing okay um and also the interesting thing here is that if you guys notice is um, the number here is kind of like 24 and 42 so i feel like these numbers could be very um, significant and both of them are number six which is talking about it's a number of love and it's talking about the year 2022 so i feel like something uh, was meant to happen um, in the year 2022 where the masculine is going to have that um, grand awakening let's say happening and this is um, kind of happening in a um, grand scale okay this is happening globally it's not only your divine masculine who is going through this energy okay so and i also see that for some of you guys perhaps you know you guys have like a really um you guys could be like having age gap like maybe a huge like age gap maybe for some of you guys 20 years like older or younger than you guys okay so and this is the energy of the masculine now the energy of the feminine let's see what is going on with the feminine energy now the feminine i feel like she is stepping to you know she's understanding that she's whole by herself and i also feel that she had experienced that um perhaps you know um the sting of life and now she is ready to experience that sweetness part of the journey um i feel like she has been going through that awakening she has been enlightened uh, when it comes to her journey um she is definitely um also i feel like stepping into her power very much connecting with the energy of her ancestors and also her power animal and for some of you guys that you are watching your power power animal could be wolf okay and for others it could also be um a bee all right um bee and also wolf is showing up for them i see that there is an eagle or a falcon for the divine masculine 
um, as their um, spirit animal or the power animal. Now, um, the power animal, of course, is a little bit different than the spirit animal uh, because it just has that direct, more direct connection, or it will give you more, um, perhaps, a spiritual power. And um, I feel like for the divine uh, feminine, um, as I said, I'm seeing that the energies are a little bit um, opposite. So I feel like, you know, for the masculine, they are embracing their feminine energy. And for the feminine, they are embracing their masculine energy. And how's the masculine energy here is being shown is that I feel like the feminine here is... Um, she's really feeling whole she's feeling really completed and perhaps even we could say that this is not only uh, the energy of masculine for the feminine here i feel like it's also both so she has been able to master both of the energies um as opposed to like let's say uh, focusing too much on her masculine on the physical i feel like she has find that she is whole by herself she's complete by herself all right um yeah and there's um there's a lot of be here so i feel like she is like right now is experiencing the sweetness of the journey okay or she's about to experience that life path number seven um is being showed up okay life path number seven number 18 and 19 okay guys this is very interesting because if you look these these are also in sequence number 18 and 19 um which could be significant for some of you guys that you are watching this could be even like maybe for some of you guys your birthdays too but um i see that she is also experiencing perhaps um i feel like she had experienced different cultures or different religions in her previous lifetimes and right now she's embracing all of them she's embracing all the races all the experiences all the people that are perhaps not from the same background as her so i feel that the divine feminine she is um not only perhaps embracing the masculine and feminine within herself and honoring that um, but i also feel that she is connecting with the past she's connecting with the ancestors energy and it could be from a lot of different places that she used to get incarnated um such as like i feel like it could be south africa africa um I feel that she's also very much um, getting connected with the earth, okay? Um, this is the energy of the past that I see, but she is like feeling really whole. She's feeling very secure in her foundation, okay? It's a complete different story right now uh, with the divine feminine energy right now that I see. She has, she has a lot more confidence in herself and also with the power animal, of course, um, this is a really, really beautiful card. And again, there is that energy of um, Native American um, as well. I feel like she could have been a warrior perhaps in the previous lifetimes too. Okay, so the wolf, of course, it talks about, I see that wolf as a masculine energy, okay, which is showed up in the feminine, on the feminine side because she is really feeling... Um, Perhaps she is right now more instinctive rather than like intuitive. It's almost like going with her gut feeling. Um, whereas with the masculine is more about embracing their intuition right now. Um, now when the feminine is more on the masculine um on, more, on her more of her masculine energy then that's how we see the manifestation of both of the energies okay so in the physical world now the energy of the union is also beautiful because we have the 11 um or i feel like this is kind of like that um and this is the vortex and i told you guys that i see there is this kind of a um event that is about to happen okay so um it could be like a lot of um these energies are happening in a spiritual realm however they're telling me that these energies are also coming down to the treaty as well so it's almost like this vortex is just bringing both of these energies to certain parts of the world as well and um it's creating something okay with the fertility there is that creation 
that's happening um, I feel like both of them are creating something there is that seed there is this seed that both of them are right now uh, kind of like in the process of um, growing it this seed is right now I feel like it's um, it's on earth okay so the physical evidence of it is here okay and how you can know that these energies are real is that there is going to be communication there's going to be something that is going to um, going to force both of them to meet in the physical in order to complete a mission okay so I feel like the fertility card is talking about like you know the intense uh, the intensity of the energies that wants to come together but um, remember that this is achieved first within right this is first achieved within and also for the masculine as well and that's why we are going to get these powerful energies of the union all right um we also have the tree of life which talks about the roots the roots of the masculine and feminine here on earth so i feel like this is almost like the seed that is that has turned into a tree um, but it's almost like it's very familiar with the environment like it knows how to grow it knows how to find its way um, to the air okay so I feel like and it's like almost like reaching out for the sky as well this is absolutely beautiful I feel like this is um, the history between them uh, perhaps the history the past lives um, uh, that spirit is showing very very strongly here okay so this is beautiful and let's see what else they want to say here this is pretty much like happening of course like energetically but let's take a look at it also um, from a 3d as well i think i'm gonna get some uh, a little bit give you guys more of a um, 5d as well and then i'm gonna get into 3d but um, i will also continue that on the membership site too um, all right okay let's see my loves let's see what is going on spirit please show me what is happening for the divine masculine and the divine feminine energies all right okay so let's see what else is happening here we have the birds oh my god the creation the manifestation and the beginning remember i told you guys there is the birth of something new happening here it's that uh, with the tree of life it's also quite powerful and beautiful we also have the flight okay letting go ease forgiveness on the on the feminine's end and this is number 44 and uh, we also have the bear spirit boundaries introspection home all right this is the energy of the masculine all right life path number seven again and um, life path number eight with the 44 as well and let's see what else we also have create again and we also have blossom okay so the blossom is on the feminine's end and it says self-love and acceptance okay and we also have create aspiration expression exploration oh wow these energies are really really powerful and uh, they kind of like go the opposite and that means that by going this opposite way or this um kind of like a um, masculine and feminine um, energies are getting integrated beautifully all right it's almost like a yin yang okay giving birth into something um, beautiful something wonderful is about to happen okay for the energies um, let's see what it is and um, oh my goodness all right so <laughs> this is crazy guys because we have the dream for the divine masculine again and says rest allowing attraction all right on their end and we also have the spirit priestess sovereignty um a mystery uh, uh, femininity femininity all right so well, this is on the feminine's end and let's get one more card so i feel like the energies are really really right now mixed okay we also have the hummingbird spirit alignment optimism joy all right so what else is happening here is that i feel like on the on the feminines and she is really really blossoming in her true self she is uh, basically has learned to love herself she also has learned to be really patient uh within this really patience within this journey because i feel like she really accepts whatever right now is happening um in the twin flame journey because remember that there is a lot of um 
perhaps contradiction uh, between what people are saying around this topic and remember it's a very um, kind of like a sensitive subject because um, a lot of people are saying that um, you know a lot of people actually uh, might step out of the twin flame journey because um, it hasn't been easy and for some people perhaps um, it hasn't been giving them what they've been expecting but the whole point of this journey has been something totally different from maybe what you originally thought it is like the twin flame journey is not all about romance it's not all about like you know having that um, like a boy meet a girl and it's something that I always say of course but I feel like it goes beyond um, both of them they are meant to create something uh, bigger than themselves and that's why the twin flames are here okay and not only uh, their love is going to um, elevate the energies here on earth but I feel like they're also going to create something that is going to last forever all right it's almost like um, having this um, leaving a legacy leaving this um, tree and there is a lot of like um, you know there's a lot of uh, reference to fertility um, and creation all right fertility creation um first with the other card yeah and and with the other one that it talks about um create again you see a lot of, a lot of it is talking about the feminine energy or creation but this creation cannot happen uh, without uh, both of the energy so both of the energies are actually creating or giving birth to this um, but also with the fertility i feel like it's almost like this tree is coming into uh, the physical um, perhaps it has been very almost like i don't know if you guys take a look at it but it looks like it has been more in a spiritual realm okay with all of the histories that you guys have together with all the experiences and then it's like kind of blossoming or it's coming into the treaty okay like the tree is finally like um uh, showing itself and i feel like it's almost like um uh, how to say like when this creation is coming when this uh, when you guys are giving birth to this new thing that is coming out i feel like it always been there in a way it's not something perhaps that um i feel like you guys um agreed perhaps to um, create this together even before coming here so you guys know what you need to do it's not like your souls don't know so i feel like it's something that is very uh, much to do with your roots here on earth okay with the tree of life um and this is beautiful because definitely something um, new is about um, there is like a beginning or there is like a birth happening and look at uh, look at this feminine I mean there is like that um, pregnant there's like that pregnancy and look at this one I mean look at these um, two actually they're also in sequence the 43 and 44 so you see how the energies are coming together um, and I feel like it's like the energy of the masculine and feminine both like getting integrated, but both of them are creating or birthing this. Uh, because remember that the process of birth, it cannot happen without the masculine, right? It needs both of the energies to be able to create that powerful um, creation. So extremely powerful energies. And I feel like it has that vortex. And to me, this vortex seems like that um, perhaps um the universe pushing them into this um powerful place um to meet i feel like this could be like a, a physical place that they are actually going to be meeting so the vortex to me is not only right now in the spiritual although it has been but i feel like it's coming down into earth in order to create something in the physical okay or giving birth to something new i mean it's extremely powerful and if you guys i don't know i mean the, the numbers are coming like like this maybe for some of you it could be your age as well 43 44 okay 41 40 i mean okay this is a little bit crazy guys i mean it's just like look at this one and it says 40 and 41 all right 40 and 41 43 and 44 it also referencing to 144,000 light workers that are meant um, to be here at this time uh, on earth okay so just a second here And
And um, uh, so let's take a look at the energy of the feminine. I don't know why I was looking at the energy of the union first, but I was just like going with it because um, spirit was showing me a lot of um, powerful beginnings that are happening or the manifestation of both of these energies are coming here on Earth or on 3D. Now, um, as I said, for the feminine, she is definitely blossoming, um, loving herself. Self-love has been um, perhaps one of her greatest lessons that she had um, mastered it okay for some of you guys maybe you became 40 um, this year um, so I have to say this because um, for a lot of you guys that you could be in your 40s um, or like um, mostly like the ones that are on for in your 40s this year I feel like you guys um, are gonna be able to master the energies um, uh, perhaps um, in a different way because I feel like you guys are going to be coming into that full completion okay although it has nothing to do let's say with the age but I feel like for some of you guys could be like you are getting to that um, stage of your journey around that age of like you know 40 44 43 okay 41 I don't know I mean look at all of these numbers it's like 40 41 and this one is also four um, I don't know you guys but this is like not a coincidence at all because this one is also 44 so I feel like a lot of you guys could be like, you know, around at this age or I, or you guys could have like a, uh, maybe there's a um, age gap, as I said, between you and them. So for some of you guys, maybe they are like younger, 28, 23. Um, and maybe even for some of you guys it could be like 39. So some ages are coming, but don't worry about it. OK, this is just something that spirit is showing me. And as I said that it was 30, 30. Oh, my goodness. OK, so. I feel like she also has been very patient with the journey, like accepting it the way that it is. All right. And I see that she is like flying right now. She is like going towards like higher levels of consciousness, letting go of everything. Basically, I feel like this is kind of, as I said, the energy of the void, like, um, like feeling like there is, there's that nothingness, there's that beautiful nothingness. And, um, and I feel like she's also forgiving herself and forgiving uh, perhaps the masculine or anyone else that she needs to forgive in order to feel like lighter. So um, she might have been even, um, I don't know, getting rid of a lot of like material things because she wanted to, if you want to fly, you know, what it makes sense is that um, you want to be lighter. And um, in spiritual journey, um, the lighter that your material things are, the you know the higher you can fly because you don't have attachment to a lot of these material things. Although I'm not saying that the material things are bad at all. I mean, I feel like it's you know the divine feminine is actually right to have like that comfort and that material well-being here on earth as well. So it is a good thing. However, I feel like she's letting go of a lot of things perhaps it could be people and also it could be material things maybe um, things that she used to be very attached to and also forgiveness is coming maybe forgiving the divine masculine and also herself perhaps for the past or whatever that has happened it could also be some a uh, father wound as well for the divine feminine like she's basically letting that go in order to fly um, to the higher levels at this time that they are showing and definitely of course they're showing the spirit priestess and this is the divine feminine and it's a sovereignty femininity so I feel like she's also um, there is no doubt that no matter what energy that the divine feminine is she's always going to be that high priestess or it says spirit priestess so i feel like she's um right now feeling really comfortable um in who they are in who she is and basically where she is going like she's fine with her um she's a sovereign being okay like she's fine right now being by herself she's um she has find that wholeness within Okay, again, a lot of that Native American energy, but um, there's also a butterfly here, which talks about, and also there's a drug war here, or, um, yeah, I feel like there is, a, there is that kind of like a powerful um, divine feminine energy coming here, meaning that she is just not being afraid of who she is anymore okay basically yeah definitely a lot of that self-acceptance or um 
self-love she's blossoming this is beautiful now for the masculine energy is also pretty interesting too because um again they're talking about the dream okay and i feel like maybe when they are dreaming maybe when this masculine is resting they are seeing a lot of um uh, it could be that they are actually dreaming about the feminine because it says attraction, all right? And it says allowing rest. So I feel like he is really allowing himself to be that um, intuitive, to be that, to experience the feminine um, and not being afraid or not feeling like vulnerable or, or um, running away from it. Because remember that the feminine energy is more... Uh, there's that softness, there's that uh, vulnerability into it, which is, you know, really beautiful. And this is something that he's actually being really attracted to uh, when it comes to the Divine Feminine, although she might have not known about this, but I feel like this is that soft part of her that really melted his heart. But he, at that time, perhaps he was not ready to allow, it, allow himself to receive it or allowing himself to be loved um, by her. And... Um, I feel like he's more and more allowing to joy and optimism to enter his life. Um, the energies within himself, like getting more and more aligned. All right. A lot of joy, a lot of like happiness is entering the life of the masculine at this time. And we also have the bear spirit. Could be like his spirit animal is also being showed up. And I feel like this masculine is, could be like um, overprotective, someone who is... Um, I feel like they feel that the divine feminine is their home all right um I also feel that um perhaps their lesson could have been about um boundaries as well maybe for some of them they didn't have um uh, good boundaries or healthy boundaries with other people and perhaps um she could be like teaching him about boundaries how to have boundaries how to um and also I feel like you know like where the home is i feel like the masculine is also experiencing where the home is because i feel like no matter what happens he becomes too um protective of the feminine energy and maybe he has been doing that on uh, you know on a um subconscious level as opposed to like you know telling you that um perhaps they really really care about you i feel like they've been they are very protective this masculine is very protective all right bear could be their spirit animal as well but look at the dream because the dream has been um, showed up here like twice and I feel like it has a lot to do with that um, dream catcher energy that I was seeing guys because I feel like he's getting a lot of um, you see how this divine masculine is closing his eyes and there's that you know feeling that attraction perhaps towards the divine feminine energy okay or maybe seeing her in a dream interacting with her um, speaking with her okay so these are the energies that are coming all right okay so i think that um i'm going to have one more um card and then i will continue this also on the membership side so i hope that some of you guys can join me if you are interested um okay let me see a little bit um more too and we have the ten of cups so this is the happily ever after this is the energy of the holy spirit too so i feel like um there is that happily ever after coming to this and we also have the eight of cups for the energy of the masculine life pad number five number seven and let's see what else all right okay my loves what else do we have we also have the temperance and this is beautiful and this is outward so um there is a little bit of a sagittarius energy but i'm not going to emphasize too much on the signs i feel like um the feminine definitely has been able to heal herself okay she is she's feeling she is um in a very like you see how this angel she's um combining the energy of the masculine and feminine very confidently so i feel like she has been uh she is right now in her power um combining the energy of the masculine and feminine the sun and the moon this is beautiful and there is someone coming so i feel like she is not aware of that but she's just um doing uh what she's meant to do uh which is um blossoming in her um 
you know into her higher self um, and also I feel like these energies are very much aligned with that okay the blossom the patience because remember that mixing these energies or <clears throat> becoming the alchemist is not as easy it needs a lot of patience and actually this love it needs a lot of patience that I feel like she is she has accepted it with all the good and the bad um, with the negative and the positive that the, you know it's like um, the night and day and perhaps you know her divine masculine is like completely different like they could be opposite of each other okay they're like day and night however she is um, mixing these two opposite energies in order for them to create this um, heaven on earth so which is the ten of cups all right again num okay this is crazy because we have number 41 and 43 i don't know guys but oh my goodness there was something hidden here that came out <clears throat> Oh my God, this was a surprise. So we have the lovers as well. So this is it, the lovers and the Ten of Cups. So I feel like, um, and also for the masculine, the Eight of Cups, he is leaving the past behind, okay? The past is behind him. He is on his way towards the ascension. He's on his way towards uh, this happily ever after, basically this heaven on earth with the uh, feminine. And this is beautiful because it shows like, you know, people are having fun. People are um, from any age or any group it's almost like um, um, as I said both of them bringing that energy of um, heaven okay it's heaven on earth and this is beautiful sorry guys there is a siren outside I'm just gonna wait for the noise to go down and um, perhaps a confirmation here because it's just really really strong <laughs> But yeah, there is that heaven on earth. And with this dove, there is that energy of the Holy Spirit too. Or I feel like, you know, of course, dove is a um, symbol of love, but also symbol of peace. Okay, so I feel like both of them are meant to bring peace here on earth as well. And we also have the lovers, of course, you know, it's talking about the year 2022, which is the year that both of them are meant to come together. All right, number six, number eight. And this one was number 14 or number five okay so extremely extremely beautiful um energies and um, as i said i will continue this on the membership site too so i'm sending all of you guys so much love i hope that you enjoyed this reading lots of love